Hi everyone, Angela here. To make this little easy gift idea, print out my pattern at 100% letter size, check the one inch square and cut out. On each side, cut out the small notches. I'm using quilting cotton for this towel holder. You can cut the pattern as a whole piece or fold it and the fabric in half. Place the pattern on the fabric without using any of the selvage edge. Match the folded edges and cut it out this way. Then cut the small notches along the fold on each side. To give this band a nice puffy look, I'm using fusible batting with the glue dots on one side. Fold the sides of the pattern in 3 8 of an inch and cut one out of the fusible batting. Cut 2 and a half inches of 1 and a quarter inch wide elastic. To see how I make a matching tassel out of embroidery floss, you can watch my tutorial here. To add a few beads to the top of the tassel, thread a needle without knotting it and use the thread to pull the loop of the tassel through the beads. With the glue side of the batting up, place the wrong side of the fabric on top and press together. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for this special offer. Center the loop of the tassel along one of the points. Tack and place about quarter of an inch up from the point, leaving about quarter of an inch from the bead. Stitch back and forth a few times so that it's nice and secure. Now fold the fabric in half with right sides together and just make sure the tassel is out of the way. When we stitch this seam we want to pivot right in the center of this loop. Clip in place and then on one end sandwich the elastic right into that center notch. With a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, start by back tacking, stitch, stop quarter of an inch from the edge, pivot and now stitch the seam with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Pivot at the point and then continue stitching and when you get close to the end, fold up both edges 3 8 of an inch and then back tack to finish. Trim all the corners on an angle and trim the points without cutting the loop. Push in the closed end to turn it right side out and then use a knitting needle or a point turner to help you push it all through. Carefully pull out the tassel and then push out the corner below the elastic. Pull out that center point by tugging on the tassel and then fold the side seams in. Loop the elastic around and then insert half an inch into the opening. Make sure the edge of the elastic is pushed right up into the fold. Clip in place if you need to and then edge stitch through all the layers, back tacking at the start and finish. With the towel folded in thirds hung over the rail, slip your hand through the band and just pull it up over the towel. Not only is it pretty but it'll help keep the towel neatly in place when it's being used. Thanks again for watching, make sure to check out my video up next.